happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. How did I get delivered here? What's up, dude? On W now, shout out. Whatever happened to predictability? Milkman, paper boy, evening TV. I guess you miss your old familiar friends. Waiting just around the bend. Yeah, with clouds me. Y'all ever see Hey Ravens, hope you've had a great week so far and welcome to this week's edition of OW Now. I'm Connor Bickford alongside Libby Bandy. Say Libby, have you ever gotten a spray tan before? No, I personally haven't, but I know a lot of people who have. On this week's Coffee with Taj, we take a closer look into the industry of fake tanning and how it's become a health hazard for users. The company Healthy Tan, starting a revolution. My friend Tiasha has the story. edition of Coffee with Taj, I sit down with Joni Williams, the founder of Healthy Tan, to share her solution of skin cancer in teenagers. Describe what a healthy tan is. A healthy tan is alternative to the sun and tanning beds. It's the only safe way to tan. It's organic, it's vegan. It's habit-free. I choose spray tans over tanning beds simply because it just saves time, it's a lot quicker, and it's it doesn't pose a risk for cancer. Dr. Elizabeth Spenseri, a skincare specialist at Dermatology and Skin Cancer Center in Leewood, Kansas, gives examples of safe tanning while on vacation in Cancun. You can find safer ways to get that little bit of color that will let, make you look sun-kissed. Uh, for example, bronzers or even airbrushed or spray-on tans are a safe way to get that healthy, sun-kissed glow but keep your skin safe in the long run. Reporting from Olathe Northwest, asking students of their opinions about tanning. Have you ever been in a tanning bed or gotten a spray tan? Yes yeah. to both. <laughs> yeah, both. Yes, I have gotten a spray tan and I got a spray tan because I thought it was more healthy for my body. I got a spray tan. <laughs> spray tan, yeah. Okay, why did you choose Not spray tan? Tomorrow. It's like safer, I guess. I've gotten a spray tan. I don't know, skin cancer. <laughs> Winter months when heavy competition season is, it's obviously hard to tan outside, so I'd prefer getting a spray tan in the winter. Especially if you go to someone who doesn't use chemicals and uses natural products to spray. So you just feel really good, and you feel really good about yourself. Like you can, when you leave our studio, you just feel better, and you just can do anything. Sign up online 24-7 for a 50% off students and teachers discount. For ONW Now, this has been Tiaja Holt. Now back to the desk. Join the Warriors of Awareness at HealthyTan.com. ONW students listen to all sorts of music, like rock, pop, and alternative, and much more. ONW student wrote and composed a choral arrangement. Luis and Sean have the story. At Olathe Northwest, there's a lot of musical talent. Keaton Conrad is one of them. One morning I woke up and I just wanted to write a choir song. So then I got to work and after a few months it just happened. Junior Keen Conrad composed a choral song titled Ember Dreams. Um, I entered the KMEA composition competition. Um, I sent my piece in, uh, four copies, and they judge it and then the highest two people get to get their piece performed at the in-service workshop in February. The competition has two winners, and Keaton Conrad was one of them. Conrad hopes to continue his musical career in college. Right now I'm thinking performance or composition or production, but something along those lines. Congratulations and good luck in the future. For NW Now, this has been Luis Ruiz. Now back to the desk. Dropping my next mixtape. Check Keaton's SoundCloud out to check out all the music he has composed. The Polar Plunge is an event held to support Special Olympics for kids and adults with intellectual disabilities. Ravens, don't forget to sign up for the Raven Polar Plunge on January 30th. You can sign up at tinyurl.com slash ravenplunge. If ONW raises over $1,000, Officer Sebasto will plunge in a prom dress. You don't want to miss out on that one. 
Enrollment is coming up next week, and for many students, this process can be confusing and overwhelming. Val and Alex have some tips on how to simplify the process. Enrollment approaches, and it's very important that students know what to do and what to expect going into enrollment. Students will have about a week and a half to complete their enrollment, working with their teachers, talking to mom and dad at home, and then eventually completing it online. Make sure you've logged into Student View. That's a, that becomes a big issue, just that really basic thing of you know your login and your password and you've used it here this semester. That really helps us. Otherwise, the students will get thrown off. If you are unsure how to enroll or have questions concerning enrollment, then be sure to ask. If they have a specific question about what class to take next year for that subject area, their current teacher can really help them and give them some guidance. Think about your future plans. What do you want to do the rest of high school? What do you want to do post high school? Are you college bound? Do you have a career goal? All those things should be factors when you're making your decisions. While you enroll, you will also be able to find out what courses you still need to take in order to graduate. They'll be able to look at their high school audit and they'll be able to see what classes they've taken. They'll be able to see where they stand as far as graduation, what they still have left to do. There's also one more thing you can do that will help you during enrollment. It would help students if they brought their own device throughout the week so that they could use it in class when their teacher is giving them some guidance on what class to take. Be sure to enroll by February 16th on Student View, and if you have any further questions, contact Student Services. On this week's game day, we bring you highlights about the wrestling match and the basketball games. Let's take it to them. Well, Ethan Northwest boys basketball traveled to Wichita, Kansas to play in the Valley Center Tournament. ONW went 1-2 and two on the weekend, beating Ulysses High 53-41 to and losing to Wichita Southeast 73-60 to and May South 56-44. to the Ravens played three hard-fought games, but just let them slip away late in the games. West is now 4-8 and on the season, and their next game will be this Friday against Topeka West High School. The ONW men's wrestling team competed last Friday and Saturday in a meet at Blue Valley Northwest, along with 30 other teams from the Kansas City metro area. The Ravens competed hard, placing fifth as a team. The Ravens had two top three finishers in Anthony Macaluso and Taylor Jokers. Macaluso placed third, wrestling at 152, while Jokers placed second at 126. The Ravens are back on the mat tonight as they take on Gardner at six here at ONW. This has been Brady Jensen. Now, back to the best. Bob Ravens, don't forget to come out this Friday and support your Ravens against Topeka West at 7 p.m. Also, Student Council wants to hear from the student body on ways to improve our school. Enter your suggestions at www.ravens.net slash stuco or scan the QR code on the posters in the hallway. That's all we have for you today, Ravens. For Libby Bandy, I'm Connor Bickford. Have a great week.